Members of the Siva LC, young friends, comrades. Youth means unlimited hopes. And the young generation create a better future. A nation can only prosper if it plays hopes on youth and keep it forever. Today, we are gathering here to mark the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Youth League of China. The aim is to inspire and encourage member of the League to forge a hand and new journey towards the Chinese dream of national rejuvenation. First of all, on behalf of the Party Central Committee, I would like to extend warm congratulations and sincere greetings to the all members of the CYLC and also the organizations at all levels and the parties. Members of the League, young friends and comrades. The Chinese nation is an ancient nation enjoying long history and suffering from the vicissitudes. But it is also a young nation with unremitting pursuit of self-renewal and with vigor. Along the 5,000 years of civilization and history, the Chinese nation has always stick to the tradition that heroes are cultivated from childhood. The new generation will invariably surpass the old. And we always believe that if the youth is strong, the country is strong. The progress made by the youth is also the progress made by the country. And we have always put the hopes on the young generations. The power of youth the vitality of the youth, the creativity of the youth have always been the driving force to push the Chinese nation going forward and also have become a mighty force to make China stand among the nations. The fate of young generations has always been closely linked to the time. After 1840 Utopian War, China was gradually reduced to a semi-colonial, semi-feudal society and suffered enormous hardships. The country endured intense humiliation, the people were subject to great pain, and the China civilization was plunged into darkness and China's youth gradually came to recognize the mounting national crisis. Generation after generation of people with vision try to find the way out to save the country and save the people. And also we have seen large number of the advanced youth enlightened and awake. The May Force movement was a great enlightenment and a new cultural movement of disseminating new thought, new culture, and new knowledge, and also opened the chapter of the new democratic revolution in China, and also to make the Chinese use as the vanguard 
in terms of promoting the transformation in China. As the Chinese people and the Chinese youth awaken and spreading, we have seen the increasing revolution that happened in China. As the Chinese people and the Chinese nation were undergoing a great awakening and Marxism and Leninism was becoming closely integrated with the Chinese workers' movement, the Communist Party of China was born. Once this party was born, it turned its focus to the young generation and placed hope on them. The first party's National Congress specifically studied the issues regarding establishing and developing the Youth League to become the candidate for the party. May 5, 1922, under the direct care and the guidance of the CPC, the Communist Youth League of China was officially established, which is with milestone significance in the history of China's history, China's revolutionary history, and youth movement history. And swiftly following the party and the fighting together with the party and the people was always the original aspiration of the League over the past 100 years. With the strong leadership of the party, the League always remember true to their original aspiration and also keep in mind their mission. And we could always find them working on the front line, organize and light generation of a generation of the young people to stay firmly to the brave and follow the party and to strive for gaining national independence, liberating people and realizing the prosperity of the country to make the people live in a happy life. And they have written a youth chapter in the journey of national rejuvenation. During the new democratic revolution, the League had promoted the Marxism using the advance idea to awake the young generation, uniting the force and organize them to involve in the workers' movement, the work movement, student movement, to against pluralism and feudalism, and also to join the war with the party to save the country and to overthrow the old regime and to show that they fought bravely without the fear of death and also they always show their braveness to save the country. The mass youth generations always show their loyalty to the party and they have withstood the test of life and death and have made the great contribution of their youth and also established the great fits to the country's victory of revolution. And during the a socialist revolution and the country's building period, the CVLC has participated in the most widespread and profound social transformation in China. They have organized the different teams to conduct the activities to learn from the best examples and organize the members of the League to show their brave that they were strong enough to change the old days with the new ones and also they have their role to 
devoted their youth to the country, and you could find the oldest rise to the challenge, and they also took the most difficult task in the field, such as science, and he untapped places, and they showed their spirit with hard work. The youth members always take the challenges and also assume the responsibilities. And you could always find the A flag of the CVLC where it needed. And also you could find the hard working people from the league. They have made great contribution to the country's development. In the period of reform and opening up and the socialist modernization drive period, the CPLC adapted to the strategic transfer of the party and the country, it liberated their thoughts and always pursued the new ideas, and they have conducted the various the campaigns to carry forward the, a true tradition and they also conduct hope projects and also organize the volunteer groups to protect the, a mother's river and other very creative activities with a very strong level of use. They have also organized and also together with the a member of the League to make the strong and the loud voice to unite together and make our country strong. And they are now working on the front line to build our country as a modern socialist one. And they always brave and bold and to lead the strive towards the new future. And they also become the avant-garde force to tap the potential and also to contribute their use and make great contribution in the country's reform and opening drive as well as socialist modernization building. In the new era, with the socialist characteristics of China, the CYLC has actively devoted itself into the great cause, great projects, a great fight, and a great dream of China. They have stick to the principle of preserving the tradition, making new progress, marching forward to conduct a self-revolution and reform, and also work with the a mass member of the League to fight hard in the field of poverty alleviation and also make breakthroughs in science and technology and also with briefly saving people in disaster relief and also to go against the difficulties in the pandemic containment. And also we have seen that their great performance in the Olympic field and they also they protect our country and guard the safety of our country and when the country and the people need them, they always take the challenge, take the mission and also to show the spirit that you can fully trust them and that they are self-resilience. The pure love is only to the country. This is the strong voice from the current young generations in China. Great dream and great mission. 
and also the responsibility assumed voluntarily by the CP CYLC members. They worked at the grassroots and also to let them shine in the journey to realize the Chinese dream of national rejuvenation. And also they make contribution and devoted their use to the historic achievements and the historic transformation of the party and the country. Different time with different features, but the use always stick to the same mission over the past 100 years. The CYLC has always worked together with the party with one mind and one heart and organize the members to write a loyalty on the course of the party and the people, and also work hard to devote their use on the journey to realize the national rejuvenation and engraved glory in the annals of history. History and practice fully demonstrate that the CYLC is worthy of being the vanguard of China's youth movement, being the loyal aid to the party and a reliable reserve force. Members of a CYLC, young friends, comrades. The further you go, the higher you climb up, the better you are drawing wisdom and the way you traveled and to boost the confidence and to inject more energy over the past 100 years. The CYLC always stick to this ideal and also to draw a very good and a precious experience. I believe that this is also the key reference to get the CYLC to moving forward. The 100-year journey to make the CYLC be formed in its convictions which are fundamental to its success. If there is no CPC, if there is no Communist Party of China, there is, there is no CYLC. On the very first day of CYLC, we always stick to the A flag of the party, the willing of the party, the mission of the party, and also to bring the party's leadership deeply into its DNA and has formed a fundamental characteristic and distinct feature of CVLC as different from other youth organizations. To follow the guidance of the party has always been the political life of the CYLC. And if the party has called, then the CYLC will react. And this is always the firm political belief of the generations of generations of youth members. And the history demonstrates that we only stick to the party's leadership. Can CYLC unite? and lead the young generations to move forward and promote the youth movement along the correct political direction. A 100-year journey built the political essence of the ideals that the CYLC stick to. The CYLC united young generation together under the inspiration of the ideal belief and following the sense. 
At the first CPC National Congress, it already made it very clear that the a great ideal to build the socialist country, a communist country, and we should have a clear flag and also should be a beacon of hope for the young generations. I believe this is the a fundamental of the CLC. The history shows once again that as long as we uphold the a banner and the flag of the a communism and the socialism, can CYLC build the unbreakable team with the a stronger fighting force and also always can unite the young generation under the flag and convictions of the party. 100 years journey has also become the a fighting force for the CLC to devote itself into the country's rejuvenation. The party's main fighting theme is the action direction for the league. Centering to the, a different historical mission, the League organized and led the a members of the League to devote it in the different initiatives and also to took the avant-garde role to make their contribution to the country and also to make the national rejuvenation as one of the main themes of the a China's youth movement. A history has fully demonstrated that as long as we stick firmly to the theme of fighting for the a national rejuvenation, the CYLC can organize all the a possible strands that can organize and also to sing the a youth song. Over the past 100 years, the ACYLC has also found its the a source of energy to deeply rooted in the a mass of young generation. The ACYLC can celebrate its 100th anniversary and uh, should give the credit to its endeavor uh, to make it deeply into the mass population of the young generation and has always connected its heart and fate with the young generation as well as the a workers, the farmers, and also to work with the party with one heart. The history has proved once again that only taking the a nutrient and energy from the a fertile land built by the young generation. He can see what else win the trust of the young generation and become the reliable friend next to them. Members of the CYLC, young friends and comrades, under the strong leadership of the CBC, the people of all ethnic groups work together to successfully realize the first centenary goal and to realize and build a well-being society. And right now, we are embarking on the journey towards the second centenary goal to realize and build the country in more, as a modern socialist country in few aspects. To realize a tiny stream is a historic race. The current young generations should always showcase their best performance in this race. Time always to place the a heavy responsibility on young generations. I believe this is also the advanced stage provided for the young generations to showcase their skills and they have a bright future to realize their lofty ideal. At the meeting to celebrate the 100th anniversary of founding the party, and the representative of the League 
made the EU's fall and pledging to the party to make my country strong. We believe that this is something that should be shown. And the outlook of the young generation of China, I believe this is also the spirit, spirit of the young generation of the party. On the new journey, how to better organize, unite, and mobilize the youth to realize the second centenary goal and to fight to realize the Chinese dream of national rejuvenation is the a key question must be answered by the people working for DA China's youth movement and youth work. So the CYLC should strengthen its capability to lead, organize, and serve the young generation, and also to organize the young generation to pursue their ideal, and they also be capable to shoulder the responsibility and also work hard to rise up to the uh, difficulties and use their power and in the creativities to build a new China to, and to realize national rejuvenation. Therefore, here I would like to give some hopes to the CYLC. First, stick to the principles to cultivate talents for the party and should always pursue yourself as the political school to guide and lead the a progress of the Chinese generation in its ideology. Dream far and aim high is the way going forward. I believe that the young generation should stick to your lofty ideal and the convictions. And we use the communist in the name of the party, and we hope that the organization of the party, the scientific theory of the party, and the original aspiration of the party, and the glory flag of the party and also the good conduct of the party to inspire, organize, equip and guide the young generation for prosper and growth. The young generation in the new era is more confident and self-reliant and they have really brave thoughts but sometimes they also struggled in their ideals and the realities, and they also found difficulties to choose their personal interests or the a larger interest for greater good, or they found difficulties to find the solutions to deal with the relations of the nation and the world, so the CYLC should come in to give more education and guidance and also use the insight you gained from the previous journey and also who had it to help the young generation to think about their life and use the power of wisdom to create a future. As the a school for the a Chinese Socialism characteristics and also the Communist Party. The CYLC should help the young generation to build up their aspiration at early time and also let them trust the a party and also to show the confidence to the, the socialism with Chinese characteristics and also have the a belief in Marxism and also to always stick to the fundamental mission of cultivating the young generation and also the construction of the country and the party. And also you should always let them feel more comfortable and be proud of being Chinese and also to hone their skills in the practice so the a good tradition of the revolution can pass generation by generation. Second, assume responsibility 
voluntarily is the avant-garde force for the Chinese youth with perpetual struggle. Struggle is the bright color for the youth, and actions is the way to put that color into a bigger picture. The youth should shoulder your responsibility and perform your task. And also these group of people who is with the a passionate to make something new and because they have the a strong capability of creativity. The cause of the party and the people also rely on the a contribution and efforts made by the young generations. As long as the youth work closely in the same direction as the cause of the party and the people, uh, that the youth can get the more access to a vaster place to develop and prosper, and also their strengths and energy have the place to release. I believe that the young generation it's the a pace setter of the new era, and they also listen to the party and follow the guidance of the party, and always and shoulder the responsibility of the mission, and also bring the a national cause and the greater good in their mind, and always the the dream chaser to realize the a great cause of the party and the country, and also to realize their lofty ideals, and also to shine brightly in the place where the country and the people need them. Third. Always put the young generations into the mind. I believe that this is the unbreakable linkage between the party and the young generation. The CYLC is the organization under the leadership of the party, but that is also the organization of the youth themselves. The biggest strength of the league is that they have the a wide coverage at the a grassroots and they just next to the a shoulder of the young generations so we should the we stick to the political responsibility of the a consolidating and expanding the a mass population foundation of the party and we should bring the love and the care of the party to the young generation, and also we should bring the same thing from the young generation to the party. And also we use different ways to solve the concerns that trouble the young generations, and also provide the help to solve their concerns or urgent needs, and let them feel that the party can help them, and feel the warm and the care in front of them. Fourth, be brave to conduct cell revolution and make the ACVLSC as the advanced organization, follow the party and also walk on the front line of the time. For CVLC, what kind of the, a young organizations that it want to build? And how to build it? That's the a fundamental questions. And you cannot use the a old ways in the new era, and so you cannot always seek to the unchanged methods to solve old issues. The CVLC should be brave enough to conduct self revolution and also keep abreast with the time and also to keep on the same page with the young generation's development and also the CVLC should also on the path of developing the a mass organization with Chinese characteristics and also focus on strengthening its political advance and mass nature 
and also promote the revolution in vertical development. And also, they should understand from A to Z the development of the young generation, and they also know exactly the way of living of the young generation, especially the new changes and new features of the young generation, and also to explore the a establishing. Thoughts and moves in the new era to organize the a league and also to promote the a part to autism and also to work with the other organizations to stick to the flag of the socialism to consolidate and expand the a united line of part to autism and also should always practice self governance in full and with vigor and also use innovation spirit. To let the ACVLC always stay positive, and also showcase the a vigor spirit of the new era. All the things in our life should be done by ourselves. Pursuing progress. Is the character and the cherished by the young generation, and also the hope laid on the young generation. The members of the league in the new era should be the good example with lofty ideals and firm convictions, and to learn the Marxism, and also to establish. The a ideal of the communism and also the ideal of the a the a socialism with Chinese characteristics. They should also practice the a core value of the socialism and also promote the a patriotism. And they should work hard and make progress in an innovative manner, and also stick to their post to hone their skills and also try to be the best one. In their industry, and also to be the best example, and also to bring the energy to influence others, and they should be the one to lead the team up to the challenges and to overcome the difficulties. They always should believe that nothing could stop them from going forward, and they also should be the model for making selfless contribution. And they should also be the one that to make the hard work before everyone else and enjoy the happiness of the last person. And they also should be the screw and always working unstoppably. And also they should stay positive and also be a good person and follow the laws and the regulations and also practice their responsibility as a member of the league. And the, a member of the league should earnestly receive the, a political training and to further temper their political skills and also pursue progress in policy and also stay closer to the party and also make the goal and the glory as a qualified party member. The league clergy always promote the a true, the good tradition of the a league, and also earnestly implement their responsibility and made a great contribution to the work of the party in terms of use. And the a cadre of the league should always keep their quality and to show their loyalty to the party and also to show their spirit of the a great lofty ideal and also to stay strong and also be positive and also to be next to the young generation become their friends and also don't put yourself at a higher stand as the leader of the young generation you should always think about the solutions for the young generation instead of seeking the personal interest and should always 
you cultivate your working conduct, which is to make more concrete actions and things to the young generation, and to speak less and do more, and also rise to the challenges and work in a hard environment. And also, you should make your food solidly stand on the ground to make a concrete result in your work. And also, you should have a really good moral practice. And also, always practice yourself with be good quality of perseverance and also self control, and make sure that you are a great person. Members of the League, young friends, comrades. Revolutionary people are always stay young. The Communist Party always push its aim to realize the goal of the centenary. Right now, it's still the golden time for the party. Lenin once said, that we are the a future party, and the future belong to the young generation. We are the party for the revolutionaries. But the young generation willing is willing to follow the revolutionaries. We are the party to fight against the old thoughts and things. Uh, the young generations who were the one who devoted themselves in this fact. History and practice have always demonstrated that the Communist Party is always the one to keep the a use feature and is always the party that should be trusted and can be trusted by the young generation. On the journey to realize the national rejuvenation, the Communist Party is the avant-garde team. The CYLC is the a attacking team, and also the a Pioneer team is the a preparation team. So to first enter to the a pioneer team and then to the CYLC and then finally to become a member of the party. The Communist Party always opened its door to the young generation and warmly welcome the young generation to become the a new energy injected to the party. And the CYLC should do a good job in leading the education of political responsibility and also to make sure that we cultivate the best ones to join the youth pioneer team and then to join the youth team and then to join the party. I believe this is a connecting flow to promote and cultivate the talent at the levels of the party, the league, and the pioneer team. And we should also to focus on the cultivating and developing the a young member of the party and make sure that the revolutionary DNA can hurry forward. Li Dazhao once said, the young generation is the essence and soul of the country. No better in, in the past or in the present, and the youth work is always one of the strategic tasks for the party. And the uh, members of the party at all levels should understand the a uh, growing pattern of the young generation and also understand the feature of young generations. Devoted your energy and time to do a good job to the uh, youth work and also become the a uh, friends to the young generation and also become the a uh, road guider 
for the young generation. And for the A Party organization at different levels, should also implement the A Party light institutes and also studied the a key issues concerned the ACYLC and also to show the a care and also to have a higher standard on the work of the ecology. Members of the CVLC, young friends, and the comrades. 2,000 more years ago, Confucius said, the young generation with stronger capabilities why they cannot surpassing the old. To the party and the country, young generation is the most loved ones and with high expectations. Right now, you are like the a little trace, but one day you will become the a big tree and grow stronger. The young generation accumulates the energy, and one day they will bring that energy to the countries in every corner and the expectation and hope of the party and the country and trust on the young generation. In 1937, Comrade Mao Zedong when it's the word for the, a, Shem, the a North Xi'an public school said that to cultivate a group of people should be the one as the vanguard of the revolution and they should waste the political foreseeing and they should have the spirit of fighting and making sacrifice. They are the ones to be loyal and stay positive and justice. They're not seeking a personal gain. The only thing they are looking for is to liberate the nation and society. These group of people do not ban their knees in front of the difficulties. They always march forward briefly. These group of people, they are not the one that want all the spotlights on them. They are the ones to put their food solidly on the ground and make concrete Results. In China, we should have a group of the A vanguard forces like the group we described, and the a mission of revolution in China can be successfully resolved. Today, the party and the people also need a large number of these kind of the pioneering people. And the party central committee sincerely hope that the CYLC can cultivate a large number of these kind of people with such qualities. This is the expectation from the party and also the expectations from the country and the people.